Alright, uh, Ben, hold up, I need to get to the toilet real quick. I can guarantee you've been in this exact scenario. You're playing a game with your friend, and for some reason, one of you are just called away. Playing a game in co-op with a friend is always a great time, but the conundrum of going AFK has been an issue that's cursed gamers for years, ever since the invention of the internet. Sure, if they do it, you don't mind, you'll happily sit there waiting for them to come back from whatever they're doing, but I bet you'll feel incredibly guilty when it's the other way around. Back in the days before the internet was really a thing and couch gaming didn't die on a global scale, you wouldn't really suffer from this issue as you'd either both be called away and pause the game, or you'd try to be clever and continue playing controlling both players at once. But in the modern day, this isn't really the case anymore, they're in another house on a different system, you can't just take over their character and keep playing. That is, unless you somehow remote onto their PC, which without their permission would be fucking weird. Nowadays you're left in a really awkward situation, you can either sit there and wait for them to come back, which mind you could take a very long time depending on what they're doing, or you can try and complete the rest of the game yourself, and it could be either easy or difficult depending on the game you're playing. But you also run into the possibility that your friend will get upset with you because you're playing the game without them. Oh god damn it, Ben! Are you are you playing revolves me? Why am I dead? And it can get worse. On the worst case scenario, you could get really unlucky and be stuck on the spot because the game won't let you progress without them. Which is fucking wonderful. Now, some games have tried to tackle this issue by simply allowing the host to just pause the game for everyone, or just kick someone after being AFK for a short period of time. Neither of which really solve the problem, since you'll have to restart the level since your friends can't always join in progress, or if you pause the game for everyone, everyone's just going to be sitting around bored looking at a pause screen. Which reminds me. The angles of the photo. If you don't understand, explain. The first order of business was identifying what tank it was. Yeah, he's fine. Now, nah, what I'm after is a way to let my friends continue playing a game while I go do something more important, like, you know, help family with groceries, help my neighbour who locked themselves outside their house, or take a shit. It's such a shame that no one has ever come up with a feature that just lets you go idle. Like, imagine if you hit the pause button and hit a button called, I don't know, take a break, and then your character keeps playing while you're away. If only someone would make such a thing. Oh wait, may I present to you the best invention made by any developer ever, the take a break button. It's a simple little function that lets you take a break from a game without disturbing your friend's play session. It's really simple. When in game, hit the pause button, and then click the button. That's it. And when you're ready to come back, click the button again, and you're instantly back in the game. No, seriously, that's it. You press a button and the game's AI takes over for you, there's nothing else to it. It will notify in chat that you've gone idle without disturbing the game, and the only downside is that, depending on which game you're playing, the AI might not be the greatest at times and could either get you killed, or just swap out your equipment. But ask yourself this, what's the bigger loss? You hit take a break and risk losing that sweet gun you found, or you just go AFK and end up losing your friend because you took too long and they got fed up of waiting around for you and decided enough was enough and closed the game and removed you from the friends list and then decided to block you and in turn, turned that friend group you were both in against you because they all hate you because you just went AFK without telling anyone. Because... I bet that would be awful. Huh. It's so strange that more games don't really do this. In a modern age where everything is played online, it seems like a no-brainer, especially for PvE games, to add an AFK function. Yet, most developers don't do this. Which is really stupid when you realise that some of these games, if not most of them, have bots programmed in anyway. So when you play without a full lobby, there's AI there. So pretty much there's no excuse to this. But no, instead, we still look like the bad guy in 2021. Now, if you think about it, and I bet you can't think of one single non-Valve title that has such a feature. Not a single one. For all those games that are called a Left 4 Dead clone, none of them decided to copy this feature. Well, actually, that's not entirely true. Funnily enough, the last game I saw to have this feature was Back for Blood. And I mean, it's not like Turtle Rock patented this feature or anything. Although, thinking about it, isn't Back for Blood published by Warner Brothers? Oh no. I was playing a game with someone, wasn't I? Way is the gun. The cannon this particular tank has is called the 7.5 centimeter KWK 37. Peace, are you watching a video about a tank? Not only a tank, Ben. A meme tank. <laughs>